In this video, I'm going to show you how to speed up YouTube videos faster than 2x, 3x and even 4x their speed with a simple video speed controller extension that you can download for free for Chrome or Safari. These extensions are going to help you to be more productive if, like me, you watch a lot of video content. And if you stick around to the end, I'll share with you my sweet spot for speed settings so that you can watch videos faster but still take it in. Hi, I'm Aiden Quigley from aq.ie and welcome to my YouTube channel where I talk about tech, web design and branding. Before we get into it though, give the video a like if you enjoy the content, hit subscribe and hit the bell button and then select all to turn on post notifications. Let's get into it. As a visual learner, I spend a lot of time online watching videos trying to upskill or learn how to do something, but there's so much content out there and there's only 24 hours in the day, so sometimes I need to watch videos at faster than 2x speed so that I can fit it into my busy schedule. I'm going to walk you through my favorite Chrome and Safari video speed controller extensions that will allow you to speed up any HTML5 video on sites like YouTube, Netflix, Vimeo, Wistia, or any other website that uses a HTML5 video player. With this extension, you'll be able to be more productive online. If, like me, you watch a lot of videos, it'll save hours of time each week. Let's jump in now. I'll show you how to download the Chrome and Safari extensions that will allow you to have a video speed controller and watch videos faster than 2x on YouTube. And I'll also show you the keyboard shortcuts that I use every day to speed up videos that I watch. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Chrome Web Store and download the Chrome video speed controller extension. So I'm gonna link in the description below for that. So you just go there, follow the link, download the extension, add it to Chrome, add the extension. And once it's been added, you can just click on it. You can just click on it to check the settings. This is where you can change the, the controls. The most common controls that I use are D to speed it up, S to slow it down, and then or to reset the speed. So I'm just gonna show you what you can do. You can press D to speed it up. So I'm just gonna keep pressing D and it's gonna speed it up in increments of 0.10. So that's 2.7 speed. You can see up here, there's a little speed indicator. So you can find the perfect speed for you. You can press S if you wanna slow it down and you can press OR to reset it back to one. And then for Safari, the extension that you download is called Accelerate, and this will allow you to control the video speed in Safari. So I am just going to re-download it. It will install an app, uh, which you can open. And then you can customize the shortcuts here. So again, it's to change the speed to make it faster. You press D to slow it down. You press S to toggle the default speed. You press OR, and then picture in picture is set to P. So Let's just go check that out. In case it hasn't been successfully installed or it hasn't been enabled yet, you just wanna to go to Safari Preferences and over to the Extensions tab here. And then you click in to Accelerate and you can just make sure that it's enabled by making sure that it is ticked. And then that's it. You should be able to watch videos at super speed. So here I am pressing D to speed it up. I'll speed it up to my usual 2.75. Then I can slow it down if I want. I can press OR to reset the speed. And then what I like about Safari is you can use the P button to make it a picture in picture. So this is going to then float on top of whatever windows you have. So say I'm switching to the App Store, I can still have the video there. So that's very handy. And one of the reasons that I really like working with Safari. The bonus tip I said I'd share with you is the speed setting that I use most often to watch videos at faster than 2x speed. So for me, what I find is that between 2.5 and 2.75x, the speed is a setting that allows me to still take in the content that the person is talking about, but also allows me to get through it quicker. If I go faster than that, I find it kind of difficult to pick up all of the audio, 
depending on how quickly the speaker speaks. Beyond that, I can't really take in all of the content and absorb it as I would like to. There is a way though that I can set it to a higher speed and still take it in, which is if I turn on the closed captions. So I might set it to 3x or 3.25x or 3.5x and turn on the captions and very intently focus on the content for that specific period of time. Doing that, I can take in the content at a higher speed even if the audio is a little bit garbled. The subtitles help with absorbing the information. What also helps if I'm really focusing on these things is to put on noise cancelling headphones and that just blocks out all of the surrounding sounds that my brain has to filter out otherwise. Let me know in the comments what speed works for you when you're trying to get through videos quickly but still need to understand everything that's being said. If you liked the video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, hitting the subscribe button and hitting the bell button and selecting all to turn on post notifications. Check out some of my other videos over here and that's it for this week. Thanks for watching.